Hello everyone! Today, we will have a new lesson about types and functions of the cables and connectors. Computers must have an organized way to exchange and route data in power signals internally and externally. Computers must have a place where the signals leave the computer externally and talk to other computers or other equipments, peripherals, display systems, or communication systems. The computer's technical manual or owner's manual provides parts re replacement information, recommended tools and test equipment, internal and external signal distribution, and input-output interface. The following slides also provide information useful in the types and functions of the computer connections and cabling. Computer cables are confusing to most users. Here's a visual guide to help you quickly identify all the common cable and connectors that came bundled with your computers, mobile phones, and other electronic gadgets. You may also refer to this guide for ideas on how to book different devices using commonly available connectors and converters. Alternatively, referred to as cord, connector, or plug, a cable is one or more wires covered in plastic that transmit power or data between devices or locations. There are two main types of computer cables, a data cable, and a power cable. A data cable is a cable that provides communication between devices. For example, the data cable such as DVI, HDMI, or VGA that connects your monitor to your computer allow it to display a picture on the monitor. Other popular examples of data cables include the C C85, IDE or EIDE, SATA, and USB cables. While a power cable is any cable that powers the device. For example, the power cord that connects to your computer and a molex style cable inside the computer are both good examples of power cables. Next slides are listing of the most common types of cables found with computers and electronics and example of devices that use them. The VGA cable or video graphics array cable, also known as D sub cable, analog video cable, which connect one and two computer monitor, television or PC input port. Connect also other end to VGA port on computer. One of the most common video connectors for computer monitors and high-definition TVs is the VGA cable. A standard VGA connector has 15 pins and other than connecting a computer to a monitor. You may also use a VGA cable to connect your laptop to a TV screen or a projector. Converter cables are also available to let VGA monitors connect to newer computers that only output HDMI or DVI signals. A smaller variant of VGA, Mini VGA, is available on some laptops. But with the help of a converter, you can connect any standard VGA monitor to a Mini VGA port of your laptop. Next, the Digital Virtual Interface or the DVI cable. Connect one end to computer monitor or connect the other end to DVI port on computer. However, there are types of DVI, the DVA-1, the DVA-A, and the DVI-D. DVI-D does not have the extra pins around the long pin. This is also a pure digital signal over DVI-I. If you have purchased a computer in the recent past, 
chances are that it uses DVI instead of VGA. The new breed of teen laptops use a smaller variants of DVI like the mini DVI and micro DVI. A DVA, DVI cable has 29 pins. True, some connectors may have less pins depending on their configuration. DVI's video signal is compatible with HDMI, so a simple converter can allow a DVI monitor to receive input from an HDMI cable. Additionally, DVI to VGA converters are also available for connect your new graphics card to old monitor that supports only VGA mode. Next, the HDMI cable or high definition media interface. It connects one end to computer monitor television. Connect the other end to HDMI port on computer. Take note, if you're hooking up a television to your computer, then we would recommend that you use a HDMI cable as your PC cable connection since it is able to transmit both display and sound. So you cannot only use your TV screen as a monitor but also make use of your TV speakers to play PC audio. HDMI is the new standard that provides both audio and video transmission through a single cable. HDMI support a maximum resolution of 4096A to 2160P and HD is only 1920A to 1200. With up to 8 channels of digital audio and are used for connecting Blu-ray players to an HD TV. Standard HDMI cables can be up to 5 meters long but higher quality ones can be up to 50 meters long and the length can be further increased with amplifiers. HDMI is backwards compatible with DVI so you can use a converter to watch video on a DVI device through the HDMI cable though you will have to use another cable for the audio. Next, the PS2 cable or personal system 2 cable. Connect the one end to PS2 keyboard or PS2 mouse and connect other end to PS2 ports and computer which is the purple PS2 port is for keyboard while the green PS2 port is for the mouse. Ethernet cable also known as RJ45 cable connect one end to router network switch and connect other end to Ethernet port on computer. Ethernet is the standard for wired networking around the world. The Ethernet cable, otherwise known as RJ45, is based on the Cat5 twisted pair cable and is made from eight individual wires. The Ethernet connector, likewise, has eight pins and looks similar to a phone plug but is actually thicker and wider. It too has a clip to help maintain a tight connection like a phone connector. The audio cable, also known as phone connector, since 3.5 millimeter jacks are often found on mobile phones too, connect the one and two computer speakers, 3.5 millimeter headphones, 3.5 millimeter microphone. Then connect the other end to audio ports on computer. The green audio port is for computer speakers or headphones. The pink audio port is for microphone. And the blue audio port is for MP3 player, CD player, DVD player, turntable, electric guitar, and so on. The Universal Serial Bus or USB Cable For USB computer cable connections, there are two popular formats, USB 2.0 and the newer USB 3.0. How to tell USB 2.0 and 3.0 cables apart? 
USB 3.0 cables have a blue tip and sometimes you can find a SS or super speed label on it. Since USB was intended to be the one computer cable connection to replace them all, it's no surprise that the possible uses for a USB port are quite mind-blowing. Connect one end to USB device and the storage devices are USB flash drive, external hard drive, external optical drive, while well, the input devices are USB keyboard, it's either wired or wireless, then USB mouse, webcam, scanner, gamepad. And for the output devices, printer, all-in-one office machine, USB speaker. Well, the wireless adapters, it includes network or Wi-Fi adapter, Bluetooth adapter, 3G adapter. For the data or charging cable for mobile devices, such as mobile phone, tablet, MP3 player, and connect other end to USB ports on computer. How to tell USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports apart? USB 2.0 ports have black tips, while USB 3.0 ports come with blue tips. USB 3.0 is backwards compatible, meaning that you can connect a USB 2.0 device to a USB 3.0 port or vice versa. There are also USB cables with connect new internal backup drives. These are described as USB-A to Micro-B. Next, the computer power cord or kettle plug. Connect one end to AC power socket, then connect other end to power supply unit or computer monitor. Take note, always turn off your power supply unit before connecting a power cord to it. How about the Thunderbolt or USB-C? Mostly seen on laptops and Apple Macs. These cables are high speed and are capable of carrying data, video, and other information. There are two current types of Thunderbolt. The older version Thunderbolt 2 is seen below, but this can also be confused with mini display ports as they look identical. And only visual dif difference is the picture beside the port. Thunderbolt 2 has a lightning symbol and carries data and video. The mini display port will only carry video. And the Thunderbolt 3, also known as USB Dashi, is for Apple Maps. Next, the display port cable. Display port is the best to use if you require a pass or high resolution image. The cable has better quality over HDMI and is the best option if you have this interface. A combined digital audio and audio cable that is more commonly used in computers is DisplayPort and the similar derivative mini DisplayPort. Both support resolution up to 2560A, 1600A, and 60 hertz and additionally support up to eight channels of digital audio mini display port connector is currently used in macbooks but we could them in other computers as well in the near future standard display port cables can be up to three meters long but at a lower resolution cables can be up to 15 meters long DisplayPort connectors are available to connect VGA, DVI video, or HDMI video and audio with a DisplayPort cable or connection. Additionally, converters are available to convert mini DisplayPort into standard DisplayPort. How about the headphone jack or TRS connector? 
The most common audio cable is the standard headphone jack, otherwise known as a TRS connector. Three contact versions are known as TRS connectors, where T stands for tip, R stands for ring, and S stands for sleeve. It is available in several sizes, but the most common ones used with computers are the 3.5 millimeters or 1.8 mini audio jack. Most speakers and microphones can connect to the computer with these audio cables. The microphone port on your computer is usually pink while the speaker port where you insert the stereo audio cable is colored green. Some computers have additional TSR audio ports colored black, gray, and gold. These are for rear, front, and center or subwoofer output respectively. A larger variety of the TSR connector is commonly used in professional audio recording equipment and it can be connected to a computer using an 1 port to 1 8 converter. Let's proceed to the Sony Philips Digital Interface Format or SPDIF or TOSLink or Toshiba Link connector. For high end audio, like when you want to connect the output of a DVD player or a set top box to a Dolby Home Theater, you need the TOSLink or SPDIF connector. These are fiber optic cables and can therefore transmit pure digital audio through light. Some laptops and audio equipment have a mini TOSLink jack, but you can use a converter to connect it to a standard TOSLink or Toshiba Link port. Next, the separate video or S video cable. S video cables, otherwise known as separate video or super video cables, carry analog video signals and are commonly used for connecting DVD players, camcorders, older video consoles to the television. Standard S video connectors are round in shape and may have anywhere between 4 to 9 pins. Next, the Radio Corporation of America or RCA connector. RCA connector cables are a bundle of 2 to 3 cables including composite video which is colored yellow and stereo audio cables red for right channel and white or black for the left audio channel. Sometimes additional cables may be included, offering additional audio channels or component video instead of composite. Component video offers better picture than composite because the video signal is split in different signals while in the case of composite, everything is transferred to a single yellow plug. The RCA cables are usually used for connecting your DVD player, stereo speakers, digital camera, and other audio or video equipment to your TV. You can plug in an RCA cable to the computer via video capture card, and this will let you transfer video from an old analog camcorder into your computer's hard drive. Next, Firewire Connector or IEEE 1394. Firewire, otherwise known as IEEE 1394, i.link or links, is a faster alternate to USB and is commonly used for connecting digital camcorders and external hard drives to a computer. It is also possible to add hook network computers without a router over FireWire. FireWire typically has six pins in its connector, though a four pin variety is common as well. IEEE means 
Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Let's proceed to the external serial AT attachment or eSATA cable. eSATA for hard drives while SATA cables are used internally for connecting the hard drive to the computer's motherboard. eSATA cables are designed for portable hard drives and can transfer data faster than USB or FireWire. However, the eSATA cable cannot transmit power, so unlike USB, you cannot power an external hard drive with eSATA. The eSATA cable is somewhat different from the internal SATA cable. It has more shielding and sports a larger connector. Next, the game port connector. An early input-output connector that is used to attach a joystick or other video game controller. The legacy game port on a PC is a 15-pin socket. However, this dedicated connector was replaced with USB. The game port originally introduced on the game control adapter is a device port that was found on IBM PC compatible and other computer systems throughout the 1980s and 1990s. It was the traditional connector for joysticks input and occasionally MIDI devices until paced out by USB in the late 1990s. Originally located on a dedicated expansion card, the game port was later integrated with PC sound cards and still later on the PC's motherboard. During the transition to USB, many input devices used the game port and a USB adapter dongle was included for systems without a game port. Next, the component video cable. Component is a bit, component video is a video signal that has been split into two or more component channels. In popular use, it refers to a type of component analog video or CAV information that is transmitted or stored as three separate signals. Component video can be contrasted with composite video in which all the video information is combined into a single line level signal that is used in analog television. Like composite, component video cables do not carry audio and are often paired with audio cables. When used without any other qualifications, the term component video usually refers to analog YPBPR component video with sync on Luma. The various RGB or red, green, blue analog component video standards use no compression and impose no real limit on color depth or resolution, but require large bandwidth to carry the signal and contain a lot of redundant data since each channel typically includes much of the same black and white image. At one time, computers offered the signal via a VGA port. Many televisions, especially in Europe, utilize RGB via the SCART connector. All arcade video games, other than early vector and black and white games, use RGB monitors. How about the register jack? or RJ45 connector. RJ45 is a type of connector commonly used for Ethernet networking. It looks similar to a telephone jack, but is slightly wider. Since Ethernet cables have an RJ45 connector on each end, Ethernet cables are sometimes also called RJ45 cables. The RJ in RJ45, it stands for Registered Jack, since it is a standardized networking interface. The 45 simply refers to the number of the interface standard. 
each RJ45 connector has 8 pins, which means an RJ45 cable contains 8 separate wires. If you look closely at the end of an Ethernet cable, you can actually see the eight wires, which are each a different color. Four of them are solid colors, while the other four are striped. RJ45 cables can be wired in two different ways. One version is called T-568A and the other is T-568B. How about the registered jack or RJ11 connector? Registered jack 11 is a telephone interface that uses a cable of twisted wire fares and a modular jack with two, four, or six contacts. RJ11 is the common connector for plugging a telephone into the wall and the handset into the telephone. More commonly known as a modern port, phone connector, phone jack, or phone line, the registered jack 11 or RJ11 is a 4 or 6 wire connection for telephone and modem connectors in the U.S. Let's proceed to the Small Computer System Interface or the SCSI connector. A SCSI connector is used to connect computer ports that use a system called SCSI to communicate with each other. Generally, two connectors, designated male and female, plug together to form a connection which allows two components, such as a computer and a disk drive, to communicate with each other. SCSI connectors can be electrical connectors or optical connectors. There have been a large variety of SCI connectors in use at one time or another in the computer industry. 25 years of evolution and three major revisions of the standards resulted in requirements for parallel SCSI connectors that could handle an 8, 16, or 32-bit wide bus running at 5, 10, or 20 mega transfer per second with conventional or differential signaling. Serial SCSI added another three transfer types, each with one or more connector types. Manufacturers have frequently chosen connectors based on factors of size, cost, or convenience at the expense of compatibility. Here are the additional information or details about the types and functions of the cables and connectors. 80. Use with early keyboards. 80A. Use with hard drives and disk drives. CAT5. Used with network cards, coaxial, used with TB and projectors, composite, used with TB projectors and consoles, also known as RCA cables, display port, used with computer monitors, DVI, used with monitors, projectors, and other displays, eSATA, Used with external drives. Firewire or IEEE 3094. Used with digital cameras and external drives. HDMI. Used with monitors, projectors, DVD or Blu-ray players and other displays. MIDI. Used with musical keyboards and other equipment. Mini plug. Used with headphones, microphones, speakers. Molex, power cable used inside your computer. IDE or EIDE, used with hard drives and disk drives. Parallel, used with printers. PS2, used with keyboard and mouse. S-Video, used with projectors, digital cameras, and other displays. SPDIF, 
News with GBD and surround sound. SATA. News with hard drives and disk drives. SCSI. News with hard drives, tape drives, and disk drives. Serial or RS-232. Used with the mouse and modem. And for the last slides about the types and functions of the cables and connectors. Thunderbolt. Primarily used with Apple displays and devices. USB. Used with keyboard, mouse, printer, MP3 players, and thousands of other devices. VGA or SVGA used with monitors and projectors. So that's all the discussion of, about types and functions of the cables and connectors. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.